Probably time for a little uh, W202 update. So um, you can probably see we got the exhaust sorted. It was all the cat and the Y piece which was causing the horrible noise, but it's all custom now from the downpipes down to about there where it goes into the original box and it's lovely and quiet. But um, it's got a bit rusty, unfortunately. We've got a bit here, which I'm hoping I can just scrape back, wire brush, and then just paint. Um, but more worryingly, front wings, hard to see, are starting to bubble. So I don't know if these are repairable or if I'm gonna have to get new wings. But um, I can't do that, but I can probably have a go at this. So I'm just gonna scrape it off with a screwdriver, see what it's like, and then get the wire brush out. And to be honest, I'll probably give the arch a clean because it's minging in here. So I'll get, so get the hose pipe on it and get it all uh, get it all freshened up. See what it looks like afterwards, but um, but yeah, thought I'd give it some loving. Um, I haven't filmed the land for ages, but lots happened on that. Um, generally, everything's been going pretty well, but um, this will just be a short video, so I'll show you what I've done some work. All right, initial scrapage and removal of the trim. I think I've got it in plenty of time. It feels okay behind, but I'll get my head around there and double check. Um, a little bit there that might need some attention. The bushes look a little tired, but good. That arm, probably not, but see it's had a new fuel filter. I can't remember if that was me or not. Might have been. Um, but on the whole, it just looks mucky. Just mucky. But yeah, I've got, um, I do have heavier artillery, but for the time being, this will, um, this will do. That disc is not very good, but it's not a high performance car, so it'll probably be fine. Right, I'll report back. Right, it really wasn't that bad, so I'm just gonna leave it like that, put some rust converter on it, etch prime it, and then um, red and black. Um, behind, I haven't, all of the kind of under seal sealant is still very much stuck to the panel, so I'm just gonna leave it. This bit isn't great, but I can't get a tool on it to clean any of it up, so I'm just gonna put some rust converter on that as well, but first of all, I'm gonna give it all a bloody good clean, then dry, treat this, and paint it. Um, and I think we'll be golden. All right, here we are part way through. Oh, doesn't that look so much better? Um, it's come up really nicely, actually. It was literally no effort whatsoever. I'll see a few bits like the brake shield are, are rusty and won't clean up nicely, but they're still very solid. Slightly concerned about that and that, which I can't see unless I use the phone. Is that a hole? No, but it is a bleb. So that's gonna to need to be dealt with. I'm gonna treat this, then paint this. Um, and then probably put a protectant on the plastics and that'll be that. Good enough for me, that. All right, operation cleanup complete. And apart from that, and that, really no nasty surprises. Everything looks really, really nice. So, um, I'm gonna put some rust treatment on here, and then I will probably mask it off and spray it up tomorrow with some primer, order some red paint, and then some stone chip for the lower bit, and all that job done. All right, that's it for today. Put it back down on the floor. I'll let the converter do its converting and then I'll spray some primer on it tomorrow. Um, but other than that, can't really see, but you know, got some bloody million dollars in there now. It's really nice. I don't know why I haven't done this sooner, to be honest, uh, compared to, yeah, look at that. Horrible. Probably having the same problem just starting here, to be honest. So I'll do this side next week, or in the week, um, whichever. But yeah, just a short little video. I'll do a driving one soon so you can hear the exhaust and how beautifully quiet it is. But it's just a lovely old thing really, isn't it? Beautiful.